Jonathan. Zach, how are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? Doing well, man. Glad to have you on. So tell us, what was that call like that you got there from the Saints in the third round? Man, it was it was definitely a surreal moment. Um, I was ex- expecting it to be a little earlier, but as soon as I got the call, all the, all those uh, those negative emotions went away, and I was just so happy and so blessed and um, so glad. It was such a great organization uh, in the Saints. No, I, I agree with you. I thought you were going to go much earlier in this draft. I think the Saints got an absolute steal at pick 74. But I've got to imagine it makes it a little bit better that you're going to an organization like the Saints with a fan base, with a team that's ready to win now. Man, and, and all that is great. Like, so exciting. But the like like you mentioned, the fans, that's, that's such a big part. And the people, the culture, um, ever, everything that surrounds New Orleans and, and the Saints is just so incredible. Zach, you mentioned waiting a little bit longer than you thought. What are you doing during the time to pass the time before the fall the call finally comes? Uh, bouncing my knee, biting my nails, <laughs> uh, paw, sweaty palms, uh, yeah. all, all the above. So we knew the Saints were were certainly in the market for linebackers. That was an area of need, and a lot of people around here thought that they may go that direction in the first round, which of course they did not. Uh, was were, how how often had you talked to the Saints, uh, and did you know that they had a keen interest in you? Yeah, I talked to the Saints at the the senior game when I was in Mobile, Alabama, for the for the game. Um, had a, a more form, formal meeting with them then, and then I had a, a meeting with Coach Mike Hodges at uh, the combine. So really, besides those two uh, in, interactions with the Saints. I uh, didn't really have much communication. It's, it's really one of those teams where you don't you never you don't think you're gonna go. Like it wasn't even on the radar. But like I said, I'm so glad and so happy. Well, Ryan Ranchick, obviously another product of of Wisconsin, has become one of the best players in the NFL and is a, an anchor piece to this Saints roster right now. You were in Wisconsin a long time uh, dealing with the, you had the foot injury and then also you redshirted, so you were on the team with Ryan Ramchick what seems like a long time ago. Have you talked to him about his experience with the Saints? How well do you know him? Yeah, so I was, I was uh, un- unfortunately with Ramchek at Wisconsin when he was on the scout team. He was on the scout offense team because he had transferred in um, and couldn't play that year. So I was, I was playing, and he was on the scout offense just tearing us apart. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's no uh, – no surprise to see what he's been able to accomplish now. And he reached out um, as soon as I got drafted and, and just um, was, was talking about how excited and um, yeah, he was for me to be a part of the team and a part of the, the association. Zach, your defense coordinator, at Wisconsin, Jim Leonard is one of the best football minds I've ever been around. He was my teammate in Denver and Jimmy knows football. I mean, every aspect of it, X's knows he's as good as I've seen what did you learn from him, and what was it like being around a mind like that in college, kind of getting you ready for the NFL? Yeah, as you know, um, he, he, his football IQ is ab- 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 above any other, especially as a player, but as a coach, he really took it to the next level to teach us and, and show us how to prepare and train as a professional um, and not only as a college athlete. I think something he stressed was being able to – pick up on those um those pre-snap keys and as as you know in in the nfl he was able to diagnose plays before uh uh, they even happened so he really instilled that and a lot of that comes from preparation and film study so um overall knowledge of the game is huge and he really taught taught us all that zach bond is our guest here on hanging with hess for the saints third round selection in the 2020 nfl draft one thing I've noticed, you played quarterback in high school. Adam Troutman, who was on our show yesterday from Dayton, the other third-round selection, played quarterback in high school. I mean, how many quarterbacks can we get on one roster here? Dang, I didn't, I didn't know he did either. That's pretty sweet. Maybe maybe a coach can fire up a, a little, uh, I don't know, six, seven QB uh, system. Be uh, careful. Sean Payton will try good. anything. So I was about you- to say, if you've got a coach that will try it, Sean Payton's the one. <laughs> no, I can't throw the ball anymore. So, uh, <laughs> tell me out. Tell me out. <laughs> oh, man. So, okay, what position have they talked about with you? Because, you know, Mike, can we talk about Sam's, when we talk about Wills, have you had any conversations? Or is it like, hey, I'm going to play all three. I really don't care where you put me. 
yeah, like like you like you said, I I don't really care where I play. I think I have the ability and capability to play um, any linebacker position, whether that's Mike, Sam, Will, uh, you name it. But Coach Mike Hodges has really talked about um, developing me, developing me as a, a a Mike linebacker, and he thinks thinks that's a good fit for me and and moving on forward with my career. So I I, I think that's where I'll start, but. Um, Definitely, see, you'll see probably see me in packages, pass rush packages, and stuff like that as well. Zach, I know that this process has been a little different leading up to the draft and staying in shape and everything that's taken place after the Senior Bowl and the Combine. But what about now? What about now that you've been selected? Because typically, you would already be en route to New Orleans, learning the playbook, getting ready for OTAs, rookie mini camp, and all of those things. So, what do you do? Like, what do you do now? Like, where are you currently, and when do you plan on trying to get down to New Orleans? I'm trying to get down to New Orleans as soon as I can. I'm actually. Um, figuring out housing situations so if you guys have any recommendations for that oh yeah um, hey we got you we got you covered uh, all right i appreciate that but currently right now i'm in my car driving back from a workout um that i gotta drive an hour and a half away just to get workouts in every day so um you gotta continue that grind and get it how you can an hour and a half each way each way correct my man's getting three hours in the car just to get a workout in man i know that coaches are gonna like to hear that as well. All right, I was a special teams guy in the NFL, so I've got to ask you that question as well. Are you a special teams war daddy? That's, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I like to tell people I was born on special teams because uh, I was a quarterback in high school. It took me time to develop my body and my, my, my mind for the defensive side of the ball. So to get my foot in the door, I just pretty much attached myself to the special teams coordinator's hip at Wisconsin and um, – that's really where I got my foot in the door. I was a three-phase special teams guy um, my redshirt freshman year, and then that gave the, uh, me opportunity for coaches to, to see my athletic ability and what I could do and my wanting to um, just input, input, input team for the, te- for the team as much as I could. He's Zach Vaughn, Buckets Award finalist, the first consensus, first team All American linebacker in the history of Wisconsin football, now a member of the New Orleans Saints. Zach, have you ever been to Louisiana? What do you know about New Orleans? Since I've been drafted, I I keep noticing these like little subliminal messages that told me I was gonna end up in New Orleans. So I went to New Orleans in twenty eighteen for spring break with my girlfriend and my little sister. Um, and it was such a great time, the culture, the people. Um, we absolutely loved the trip, and I, I, I kept saying, like, what if I get drafted here? What if I get drafted here? So I'm just blessed to be able to go back and ready. ready. There's nowhere quite like it in the world, Zach. I mean, I, I truly mean that. I mean, it is a special place, and I'm glad that you already figured out it is a place with a lot of culture and a place, by the way, I didn't, pl- so I didn't play for the Saints. I played for the Chargers and Broncos, but the Saints, in my opinion, have the best fans in the NFL. Just the feedback I've been getting from the fans has been crazy. Uh, Houdat Nation. I, I had to ask a few people where Houdat came from, but I got it now. Um, <laughs> doing and, your homework. I, understand. <laughs> I like that, man, doing your homework. All right, what jersey number are we wearing? We've got to know so we can go ahead and get those orders in. Yeah, I'll be wearing 53. 53. There he is. Man, hey, Zach, I, I truly appreciate it, man. It's been a lot of fun catching up with you. I think the Saints did a really nice dra- uh, job drafting high character guys, good football players, all of the above. And it was our pleasure to have you on today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I truly appreciate it.